St. Patrick's Day by Anne Rockwell, pictures by Lizzie Rockwell. On St. Patrick's Day, I wore my green shirt, green pants, and even my green striped socks. Pablo wore green sneakers. Everyone wears something green on St. Patrick's Day. At school, we worked in teams to finish our St. Patrick's Day reports. Charlie, Jessica, and me, Nicholas and Sarah, Pablo, Kate, and Sam, and Michiko and Evelyn. Mr. Sisko helped Charlie and Jessica and me find out about St. Patrick. He helped us type the story we told. This is the story we printed out. St. Patrick by Evan and Charlie and Jessica. One bad day, people took St. Patrick from England across the sea to be a slave in Ireland. Patrick was a shepherd. He didn't fight with anyone, but he missed his mother and father, so he escaped. But before long, he went back to Ireland to teach people to be kind to each other. Nicholas and Sarah wrote a play. Nicholas said, I am St. Patrick. Do you know why there are no snakes in Ireland? No, everyone replied. I drove them away, said Nicholas. Clang, clang, boom, boom. Sarah was a big green snake slithering across the floor. Nicholas rang his bell and beat his drum. Hiss, hiss. I'm scared, said Sarah. I'm going to run away. Follow me, snakes. Hmm, said Nicholas. All the snakes are racing to the sea. Now you know why there are no snakes in Ireland. My bell and drum scared them away. Clang, clang, boom, boom. Hiss, hiss. Pablo, Kate, and Sam love music. Mr. Kelly, the music teacher, taught Pablo and Sam how to dance a jig. Kate fiddled fast while Sam and Pablo danced. They wore green top hats. They looked like the leprechauns that make mischief on St. Patrick's Day. Evelyn and Michiko told about the special plant St. Patrick brought to Ireland. They explained how he planted shamrocks. Shamrocks are tiny bright green plants with three round leaves. They brought a shamrock for each of us in a paper cup. I'm going to plant mine in our garden. Mrs. Madoff said so many Irish people came across the sea to America that we celebrate St. Patrick's Day whether we're Irish or not. Many Americans are a little bit Irish, but not me. I'm all Irish. My mom and dad were born in Ireland. My grandparents and my aunts lived there. I went to visit them when I was four. Here's a picture of me in that green, green land. When I got home, Mom was baking soda bread because that's what her mother always did on St. Patrick's Day. People put on their best clothes and wore shamrocks. They went to church to pray the way St. Patrick taught them. When they came home, they had a fine meal with soda bread. We took a loaf to Pablo's mother. She said it smelled so delicious we should have a slice with some hot chocolate. Yum. On March 17th, we all wear something green. That's because it's St. Patrick's Day, and St. Patrick's Day comes just before spring. The sprouts that come in spring are green. That day, we are all a little bit Irish. <laughs>